Light schedule in week six of high school football, but don't tell any of the teams playing tonight that. And the South Sequoia League getting into full swing already. We've got you covered. 23 FNL starts right now. You're watching Friday Night Live, brought to you by Kern School's Federal Credit Union. Together, we have something special. The Eagles fans were getting us hyped tonight because, Brandon, we know that they just had quite a game and all of the national attention was on them as ESPNU was in town. Yeah, they're getting ready for their time on TV. Good for them. Yeah, so welcome in 23FNL. I'm Kara Zip, as always with Brandon Johansson. And this, guys, this was a big game for BCHS, a matchup that spotlighted not only the Eagles, but a top five ranked team in Cali and a number one national recruit. Yeah, that again, all coming on ESPN, ESPNU tonight. Pretty cool yes. experience for Bakersfield. Yeah, no doubt. Oaks Christian, they're the ones that came up to Bakersfield and brought with them that number one ranked defensive end in the country, Kayvon Thibodeau. Yeah, you're going to remember that name. This was the game of the week. It goes to the Eagles, who were dealing with the pressure of Thibodeau and the national spotlight. But the Eagles have had two weeks to prepare for the big stage and this guy right here. There is Thibodeau. But BCHS was pumped ahead of the game, and that rolled into the opening kickoff. They pinned the Lions in their half of the field. Got a lot of energy from that, but Oaks Christian, as expected, marched right on down the field. And Josh Calvert finishes the drive. He's scrambling and finds his open receiver, Donovan Davis. Davis. And then some bad news, guys. BCHS forced to punt. Snap is low. Eagles try to get it off. Pressure is already there. Sebastian Macaluso is, comes away with the block and recovery. It's 14 nothing. Darren Card trying to keep his guys going. But, guys, this is Thibodeau. This is what he does best. He's able to force the fumble on that play. The defense was just suffocating. Yeah, so BCHS, they're just going to be able to, or they're not going to be able to come away with anything on defense. And Oaks Christian rolls 83 to nothing. Hopefully some learning lessons for the Eagles after this one. It's a tough loss. Yeah, no doubt. But, you know, learning lessons, right? Absolutely. we got to take something from this. But the South High Rebels have been firing on all cylinders on offense so far this season, outscoring their opponents by an average of 47-19. to 19. It's been impressive to watch. Most of their points were actually given up in their first game against Independence. They've actually only allowed 22 points in their last yes. three starts combined. Pretty impressive. Tonight, the Rebels welcoming in West High, who once again without their star back, Leonu Laula Jr. South High getting ready with their pretty game ritual, getting everybody pumped. The Rebels getting off to a quick start. Quarterback Bryson Aguirre fired. Fires one into the end zone here. Angel of Ferries makes a great catch with a defender on his back. That makes it 7 0 South. Later in the first, Daniel Lomax makes it look easy here. He's just going to trot right in. Good for another six. They would miss the extra point, so it's 13 0 at this point. Rebel defense solid two. Caden Dearmore drops back to pass, but he's hit as he throws by Tyler Lomax. Ball comes fluttering out. Daniel Lomax there to collect. The easy pick. South would score on that drive, but West would answer later. Damani Jackson gets the carry at the goal line. Looks like he's not going to make it. His teammates rally behind him and push him across the goal line. So good teamwork there. West would be down 26 to 7 in the third in this game, but they would storm back late. Jackson adds two more touchdowns as the Vikings win a thriller 27 to 26. The Bakersfield Drillers welcoming in the Sierra Canyon Trails Blazers for a big matchup. Sierra Canyon's JD Sumlin receives the ball here and gets them near the 30 yard line and then it's going to be Shaden Perry who hands it off to Hunter Williams inside the goal line. Sierra Canyon up 14 to nothing and shortly after after a little bit of tumbling too, a little bit dancing. He's excited yeah, about that one. Why not? <laughs> a little deja vu here. It's going to be the same duo Perry to Williams. This puts the score at 21 to nothing. The drillers would fall to Sierra Canyon 38 to seven. Meanwhile Taft traveling to Shafter trying to ruin the general's perfect season and what looks like their homecoming too. Shafter started the second half with a 43 to nothing lead. That's a good lead. Alex Aguilar, he gets around a guy there and finds Isaac Enriquez deep. Enriquez says, get off me. I'm going to keep going here. That makes it 50 to nothing. Jones, we got to speed this up because we have other things to get to. Great duo there. That might see that in top place tonight. Later in the fourth quarter, Aguilar, he's going to hand it off to Jackson Sanchez. Sanchez is going to do the rest to the outside here. Forces his way in for the touchdown. The Generals, they keep their perfect season intact. They shut out the Taft Wildcats 57 to nothing. Way to go, Shafter. McFarland took their first loss of the season last week. Tonight, quarterback Julian Avila is facing his former team, Chavez. First quarter, Elijah Wrangle takes the handoff from quarterback Cameron Herta near the goal line. That would be a tight touchdown. Now to the second quarter, tied score. Avila connects with Cesar Moreno, who dodges a few defenders. And look, he gets free and runs it all the way for 73-yard touchdown. Wow. Later in the second, another touchdown for Cesar Chavez. 
At this time, quarterback Cameron Herta hits his target, Julio Valsteris. Run, boy, run. He's got the room. Chavez goes on to beat McFarland 36 to 32. And the Titans fan base was in full force today, and there are plenty of traditions for Chavez football, including, Brandon, all the savory snacks you can indulge in. We're going to take it to Allison Gargaro and Chavez. This week's edition of Fandemonium takes us to Cesar Chavez High School, and they're all about the food. So many different variations. Let me show you what they got. Asian cultural foods. Pizza. Lemonade. Ice cream chicken strips. Tacos. Carne asada fries. Chile verde fries. Yum, that looks so good, and there's so many more variations, so check them out next time you're here. <laughs> all I'd like to know is, Allison, why didn't you bring all that back? Like, why isn't that you all here what? laid out? She never brings the food back. I know. Gosh, I know. we gotta we got to take those games next time. Absolutely. <laughs> I sign, sign a, a lot of action already, guys, but still more to come. Tyreek Walker and the Thunderbirds were looking to keep their perfect record alive, while Miramonte is playing for his second straight win. Stay tuned for more after the break. Thank you as always to our cheerleaders bringing us into Friday Night Live. Welcome back, guys. And we're right here with our, in the Live Center to show you guys some of the action from tonight. I'm going to take us right now to show BCHS. We're going to see if this, we're having a little bit of trouble. I tried to get this in the break, but unfortunately it's not working. So you know what? We're going to go right to the action on the field. We had a game on Thursday night, and this was Porterville, undefeated Porterville, hosting Redwood. And it wasn't going to be easy for the Panthers to keep their record alive. They were trailing the Rangers 14 to nothing in the third quarter. Hector Nava drops back and finds Hunter Alcantar wide open in the end zone for the Panthers' first touchdown. They're down 14 to 7. Rangers' Ladre Aguilar with a returned touchdown. It's 20 to seven to end the third quarter. This is, this is that play all the way. He's gotta be sped up because we gotta see this play from Porterville. This is the final play that brings the Porterville over with the 21 to 20 when they stay undefeated. Well, meanwhile, the Miramonte Lions snapping a 14-game losing streak last week with a win over Kern Valley. Of course, looking to add to that this week, keep the momentum going against Rosamond. The Roadrunners coming into the game at 2-3, and three, looking to separate themselves from the pack in the High Desert League. Rosamond starting the first quarter off on a high note when Colby Adams throws the ball to Tyler Gibson. He outruns the Lions defense for a 35-yard 30 yard touchdown. Miramonte, they would get the ball back, and Nick Mendoza is going to hand it off to Shamar Oliver, who flips it into the end zone for a touchdown. That's a great play. Great play there by him. That might see that in top plays tonight. Good win here by Miramonte. They keep that two-game winning streak going, 37 to 20. Up in Delano, Kennedy has gotten off to a great start this season. Part of that has been spark plug senior back Tyreek Walker. Arvin High, though, gets on the board early with a touchdown from Arnie Pantoya. Kennedy would respond, and senior Yankani Sandoval puts the Thunderbirds ahead 14 to 7. This is the play here where he does it, speed it up, get down the sideline. He's in there for the touchdown. A little bit later, it's going to be the guy, Tyreek Walker. He's going to rush in there for this touchdown. Kennedy Thunderbirds, they're going to win this one 51 to 14. Well, it's homecoming night in Wasco as they host the Delano Tigers. It's a Tiger versus Tiger matchup. Start the opening drive of the game. Wasco's Jacob Villanueva tosses it to number 11, Justin Horton. He's going to slip through the defense, run all the way for the touchdown. 7 0. Wasco. Delano would answer, but it is Wasco who keeps everyone off the board in this one. They win it 26 to 21. Yeah, they're going to get some fireworks on their homecoming night. It's a good win. Yes, no doubt. And still to come, guys, of course, we have the best of the best from the night, and we'll have the top three on 23. It's going to look like a lot of offensive plays. Stay tuned after the break. Welcome back to Friday Night Live. Before we get to those top plays, Brandon, we got to look at some other scores from around our league. So we're going to throw up the scoreboard to see Bishop Union. They would take down Burroughs 21 to 17 tonight. And the Kern Valley Broncos, they fall to Strathmore tonight, 42 to 6. And now from those plays, we get to the best of the best. It's time for the top three on 23. Starting it off with number three, Miramontes, Nick Mendoza. Hands the ball off to Shamar Oliver, who flips into the end zone. I mean, my gosh. Look the at the airtime here. <laughs> I don't think I could do that. No, though. I definitely can't. Number two, Alex Aguilar. He's going to drop back. We talk about this kid all the time for good reason. He's going to shed a tackler here. He's going to launch one to Isaac Enriquez. Enriquez stiffs arm a guy on his way to the end zone. The shafter stays undefeated. Get off me. And to the top play of the night. 
McFarland quarterback Julian Avila connects with Julian Avila. Cesar Moreno, who dodges a few defenders, on his way to run this one, guys, for a 73 yard touchdown. Yes. Also, stay you off too. me. Get off me. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, we got a lot of great plays tonight. Not as many games, but hey, we'll take what we got. Take what we get. Looking forward to next week, of course. Absolutely. Stay tuned with us next week. This is it for Friday Night Live as of now. See you next week.